how does each fan tie them? If you have millions of fans, what makes each of them and all of them special? I love every single one of my fans, and I think that they, they all do so much for me. So I, I just want to say thank you guys for everything you guys do for me. I know you all do uh, something different to help out with my career, you know, every way possible. So I just want to say thank you guys so much. Where do you live right now? Uh, I live in L.A. Very cool. Mm -hmm. And how long are you? Months. Did, was that a huge transition, like moving? I mean, visiting the United States is different. Like, like moving here, living here, eating here. I mean, everything is different. It, it is much busier. There's, the food's very good. I love the fast food. I love oh, the man, dangerous right. stuff, man. Yeah. Look at me man. and don't eat too much of it, seriously. Okay. But they, everybody says that in Australia, the pieces of pizza are so tiny compared yeah. to them. New York, New York pizza is huge. I'm like, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. How has your life changed? It's kind of broad, but... Well, my life's gotten, you know, like I said before, it's gotten much busier, but uh, it's pretty much... It's gotten much more fun. Um, yeah. It's, 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 just, it's just crazy, everything that's happening. Um, I grew up um, you know, in this whole pretty back, laid back lifestyle. I yeah. was um, a swimmer, competitive swimmer, and then kind of moving, moving over and starting uh, getting really busy doing uh, the music and stuff. It's and it's only getting much busier. Is uh, what cologne do you wear? I have two cologne, uh, two, two bottles. You sure you want to let this out? Because like usually, no. like you don't let it out. No, it's just it's it's your secret. Yeah, it's 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 the smell. When when did you start playing guitar? When did I start playing guitar? What age? How old were you? I first picked up a guitar. I was seven, but um, properly I started writing songs when I was like, ten. Um, wow. I think they were alright, you know. Yeah. Uh, they would were you, decent. Would they you ever really saw you you know wrote when you were ten? Now, like, kind of switch it up a little bit. No. <laughs> My first song I ever wrote was about, put, about chickens and putting diapers on and stuff. Do you think your friends and family are proud of how far you went with singing? And are you coming to Canada anytime soon? I'm coming. To, I know I'm coming to Canada in yeah. June. Yeah. Uh, definitely Toronto. Not sure yeah. um, where you are from, but I'm <laughs> gonna uh, be in Toronto, um, Ontario, and stuff. But I think my my family is definitely very proud. Um, they're very supportive, and I'm very thankful for that. And my friends, I, I like to keep in touch with my friends through the internet, you know, yeah. video chatting and all that kind of stuff. And they're definitely very, very, very. I guess proud, but they just. They think it's cool that I'm doing something that's a little different. So yeah, because like, you, you were, yeah, because you were you were originally you know doing competitive swimming. Yeah, and stuff. They, were, they were thought of me as the athletic kind of kid, and then yeah. I was like, hey guys, I'm going to America. I'm going to. Stay. <laughs> like, what? Yeah, wait, yeah. Well, were they yeah. supportive with that when you Definitely, initially told them? Yeah. yeah, they had they had no idea until like a week before I left. So it was just. Uh, yeah. So have you got any really cool gifts in the mail from from any of your fans that that you care to talk about? Um, really cool. Something that really stands out to you. I, I get so many different, like, they make whole scrapbooks about wow. like, different, you know, it, they, they make, like, a hundred pages, like, fully professionally put together scrapbooks, and they send them, and I think they're, they're the really cool things that stand out to me. Um, yeah. I try, I actually try to send um, s some people that have really put, like, lo lots and lots of effort into what they're sending. Yeah. I try to send back, you know, a signature or something like that. That's cool. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's hard. It's a little harder because, um, you know, everyone's, I get, I get so much of it. Yeah. But, um, you know, I try to do it every once in a while. That's cool. Yeah. You, are you going to be continuing school, and are you continuing school? Yes. I, uh, I'm doing school. I have a tutor that's on the road with me. Mm -hmm. And um, me and, on the, I'm on tour with Grace and Chance right now. Yep. And we're doing the show tonight. You guys want to come out to that if you live in the state of New York or close to it. Everybody's now booking their flights here immediately. Yes. <laughs> They're like, I'm going to come right now. I'm, I'm, I think it might be sold out. There's, I'm probably sure. If That's you, not a bad thing. If yeah. yeah, if you come to the door, you know you might. What prestige do you have in Call of Duty Black Ops? Oh, I don't know. Have you have been playing? Lately? I love Call of Duty. I don't keep up with my prestiges though. <laughs> yeah. I have fun. Yeah. I mean, I'm not serious about it or anything. Do you, do you get on Xbox Live and, and talk to people? I'm on PS3. Oh, PS3. Uh, okay. My publish is Sony. So I'm, I'm with PS3. Yeah. Okay. PS3 cool. Q. Okay. Crew. So yes. you're on, do, do, are you able to talk to people? Do sometimes you're like, wow, I'm fighting with Cody Simpson. No, <laughs> I don't usually go online. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't fight or like shoot or battle or you know what you <laughs> call it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Call of Duty if I, um, under my name. Yeah. Oh, want to be a ninja or a pirate? Which one would you want to be? Ninja. Why is oh, that? I'm glad you said ninja. ninja pirates are old school. Yeah. <laughs> They're old dirty school. though. Like yeah. pirates, like get dirty. Yeah, I want to be a ninja backflip and yeah. 
Is it hard to be a normal kid sometimes? Sometimes. Uh, you get, you know, you're very busy um, doing doing music and stuff, but it is, you, you try to, it's pretty much, you're still having so much fun doing this, so it's almost like, it's almost like you don't really um, realize about, you know, the, being yeah. a normal kid or anything. So it's, it's pretty much, um, I still am a normal kid, like, I feel, yeah. I feel like that, so I, it's pretty much the same thing to me, but I'm just having I'm just having a good time, and it's we just like to have fun. But on the road, Grayson is is a good time. Yeah, how's that going? Let's talk about that. He's, a he's bit. also um young and just like to have fun. We play Call of Duty, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So biggest fear? I get a little freaked out in spiders sometimes. Really? I wouldn't want one near me. How long did it take for you to be known when you uploaded your first video, and what was your intention with your first video? That's from Lavisa Talked. My first video. It was, it was all, everything that happened, I had no intention of um, making a full-on career out of, yeah. out of music. Um, it was, it really, my first video, I, I performed at a school talent show mm -hmm. um, with my sister's friend. She asked me to back her up on guitar, and I, you know, I sung, I sung a verse, and yeah. I posted it online. I made, Big like, surprise. this Cody Simpson music YouTube account, yeah. um, and pretty much... Like it, you could barely even see my face on the on the video. It was real blurry, but it, it sounded all right. So we, we put it up, um, and I, I posted like one more video, and then all these people started saying, "Post another one." Like they were suggesting covers to do and everything. Wow. I was like, I didn't, I didn't ask for you guys to start <laughs> yeah. comment on this video. It's like we just posted it up for fun. Yeah. And um, but I just did. I just started posting more and more, and I got in this little role of just posting videos, you know. And then I was discovered by. Um, Sean Campbell is a music producer out yep. here, and he he pretty much uh, flew us over, and we started recording. He introduced me to, um, you know, put a team around, and we uh, signed with Atlantic, mm -hmm. and it pretty much just happened from there. It was really, it was really, it was really quick. just just really quick, and it's starting to. Um, and now I got my single out um, on my mind, and it's really just yep. it's it's starting to talk about that song a little out. bit too. Talk mm -hmm. about it. well the song. We have exclusive to um, my website, so if you guys, um, anyone reading the chat right now, it's exclusive to codysystem.com. You got to become a member of it. You know, uh, it's kind of an inter internet thing for about two weeks until we um, put it out on iTunes and you know all that kind of stuff. But it is the first; it's my first official um, single of the album, and it's pretty much the song. The song is about the song is called "On My Mind," and it's about. It's about like you know this girl for a while, you've been friends with her, and you, you yeah. finally realize the song is pretty much explaining that you finally realize that you, you haven't been able to stop thinking about her. I guess it's Very you can't cool. get her off your mind. I guess yeah. So uh, what are three things fans would be surprised to know about you? I like catch up. I catch up on lots of things. Now, now everybody's gonna be mailing you boxes of ketchup now. Yes. And you're like, that's okay by me. Who do you want to duet with in the future? Who do I want to duet with in the future? I. I've been trying to. We have. Um, I want. I want to do a duet with my album with like, with like a female. I guess. Okay. Um, Anybody? I mind? haven't. I haven't. Um, I've done. We tried out a few things, but we we're still trying to find the perfect kind of, um, the perfect like match. Collaboration. Perfect, but perfect collaboration for the album, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure who yet, but I want to. I want to write. Um, I, I wrote a song which was going to be um the single with Ryan Tedder. Um, yep. And, public, yes, yes, right. and we wrote we wrote that song, and uh, and then we had on my mind this song come through and we um, recorded that and it was it was a great one. But um, I, I'd love to write with Bruno. Um, oh yeah, he's soon. he's gonna be here at 200 tomorrow. Yeah, he's very 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 talented and he I, he, he writes like most all of his songs. Like, I yeah. write I write a lot as well, so I love to write with him too. Now, which part do you like? Do you, do you like? I don't know if you like one better or not, but maybe some people do. Do you like writing better, performing better, or is it pretty, pretty much the same between? Um, because I think for like being in the or, studio or yeah. being on the stage. Yeah. Uh, they're both very different. Like being in the studio is very, very creative. Mm -hmm. Um, so you're always writing and coming up with new things. It's more serious too. Being on the stage is a lot of fun too. Like you, um, the studio is a little more serious than yeah. being on the stage. Assume, but yeah. yeah. That's cool. Um, the, sta the stage is definitely much more. Um, much more like That's adrenaline true. pumping, I guess. You get to release, I guess, yeah. when you're on stage. It's yes. Like, this is my time. Uh, who is your music idol? Uh, this is going to be a big one. I love I love taking 
I love taking lots of different parts from different artists, like parts that I love about different artists, like Justin Timberlake and his whole mm -hmm. entertainment side of things. Like I watch, have you seen his like HBO concert? Yes. Um, yeah, I yeah. love, I love that. So that's kind of, I love, I want to take things from that. I want to take, uh, like Jack Johnson, I love, you know, he comes from Hawaii. So yeah. the whole guitar bar going mm -hmm. on. I love that too. So I'm still, um, I like to say, Justin Timberlake is definitely very, very inspirational because he has he has come from being my age and being on the mother tears or something. And he's to, um, and yeah, well yeah, coming he, up to doing these movies. He's still so relevant too. Yeah, being yeah. Here for so long. And which, which is, that's what I love about him. I love um yeah, that's pretty much Justin Timberlake. Yeah. I don't know why people are asking this. I'm going to ask you since the people are bugging me to ask you this. Can you say the word aluminum? Yes. Why are they asking me to why? Aluminium. Yes, I knew you were going to say it like that, yeah. Uh, I was like, well, like, do you want some aluminum foil? I was like, what is that? <laughs> so, wait, let me, yeah. how do you say it again? Aluminium. 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 I can't exactly. do that like more than three times. Yeah. Aluminium. Aluminum. Aluminum is easy to say, but that's uncomfortable. And it's the wrong word, really. Yeah. Do you ever sneak out when you have free time? Um, If I had a day off tomorrow, I'd probably sleep for a little while. <laughs> yeah, I would um, assume. But I definitely, I definitely love to do st some uh, that fun stuff. I definitely yeah. like love going and do some touristy things because being on, being on, on the road, it's you see you see so many different places, but you don't get to actually experience it fully. So I'd love to um, if I had a day off somewhere, whether it's a day off in Orlando, so I'm gonna go and do some oh yeah uh, Universal Studios absolutely or that kind of stuff. Besides Justin Timberlake, who's your biggest inspiration? My fans. Yeah, um, that's it's all. pretty much yeah, pretty much them because they do so much and my music, they inspire my music so much. It's kind of like I work hard on that to give back to them. Uh, is it is it a lot of fun knowing that you have millions of fans? I guess. <laughs> I mean, I definitely get a thrill out of it. Yeah. I think it's I think it's very very cool that I, there's so many people out there that enjoy enjoy what I do and stuff. So I, I it is definitely very like I said before inspiring to me mm -hmm. that you guys. Um, so many of you out there that, that enjoy what I do, and that's my music is pretty much my, my gift back to you guys, if not like shows and you know, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, what's your favorite amusement park ride? Right? There we go. Um, have you been in New Jersey? Yes. Have that's you ridden right the King Car? Yes. That that ride is nuts. Oh my god. Yes. When did you when did you first ride King Car? And people don't know King Car. Explain explain to everybody because people all different. Oh, it's pretty much just the fastest. Tallest roller coaster in the world. Yeah, yeah. It goes straight up for a season. Go, up, go like zero that. to one hundred and three miles an hour in like two seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we, we like that ride apparently. That's nuts. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you went on that. And I could ride anything. And then ride what, what does your hair look it's, like? When it's you go? at Six Flags in New Jersey. Yeah, and your hair's pretty wild. You can't wear contacts, by the way, no. when you're on that because they will fly out of your eyes. You can't even like have teeth while you're on that ride. <laughs> you tear the fly out. Take your teeth yeah. out before you go on that ride. <laughs> Uh, if we send you fan mail, what can I send like a gift? What do you like? I love homemade stuff. Yeah, homemade they, stuff's cool. They, they always do the most um, stuff that they make handmade, I, I love. But do you have even time to hang out with girls, really? Uh, um, I guess I do sometimes. Sometimes, you know, yeah. It's not not all the time, you know. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a little harder. Um, you don't get as much time to do. But uh, What about going out with friends? When you go, can you still hang out with, like, when you go back, go back home? Or even friends you have in LA now. Do you get to, the, to be like, hey, let's go to a movie without being mobbed or without too much of that happening? Um, we usually like to stay home. Rent it's movies usually, or something. Yeah, usually yeah. like rent movies and um, I guess just play video games, something at home. You know, yeah. Play basketball in the yard. Or, I guess like stuff like that. We don't. It's, it's, it's a little harder to go out um, to the mall or something like that. You know. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go buy some clothes at the mall. So yeah. See you later. Okay, uh, this the mall one... isn't the mall isn't yeah. the best one to me anyway. Would you rather be a blue ninja or a green ninja? Yeah, blue. Blue's my favorite color. Blue, blue is favorite color. Okay, cool. Have you ever had a fan attack you? Yeah, you're... like they almost like broke my nose. Oh no! Uh, it's like... <laughs> it, I love it. I think it's really, really cool. And I just want to say thank you guys so much right now, and um, I'll see you guys you know, around. Be going to Canada in June. See the rest of the world very soon. But um, I see you all soon. Thanks so much for the support. Yes. Cody Simpson, thank you so much, buddy. Thank you so much. Appreciate Thanks it. for having me. Hey, no problem, man. Cody Simpson, yeah. everybody.